Hey, welcome. We've got a warm up in the AP classroom. If everyone remembers how to get there. Yeah, I don't know. My internet's pretty like garbage today. Like it I, has trouble opening anything. You, you are not alone. I, I, the entire canvas crashed this morning and everybody all day has been having issues. So just know you are not alone. Um, let me just quickly show, let me, I'll look, there's Amelie. All right, I'm gonna stop sharing for a moment. So AP Classroom is you've gotta to go to the AP. You know, for me, I've gotta sign in. Then I get in my AP classroom, I go to my questions bank. I go to assessments and here it is, warm up 325 to 26, okay? Oh, there's Liv. Oops, sorry, no, of course I wasn't presenting while I did that, that was silly of me. That didn't help anyone. Sorry about that. There's Viraj. Okay, so what I was saying was when you sign in, you know, I come to this page, but in the end, you want to get, right, let's get Summer in here. Uh, you want to go to the assessments, and right here is your warm up. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Here's Daniel. <laughs> Got Sam up in two places. Somebody's having real trouble. Okay, let's go in here and take a look. Just three questions. Which of the following applications is most likely to benefit from the use of cloud sourcing? Crowdsourcing, not cloud sourcing. Crowdsourcing. An app that allows users to convert measurements, inches to centimeters, ounces to pounds. Uh, an application that allows users to purchase tickets from a local museum, an application that allows users to compress the pictures on their devices for optimum storage, or an app that allows viewers descriptions and photographs of local landmarks. Anyone have a feeling for this? Oh, uh, Sam's still just stuck in there. We can put this in the chat or you can sing out. Which one do you think is correct? Maybe there's more than one answer. Anybody? Anybody have an idea on this one? Crowdsourcing is a little weird to be asking. I feel I like- I mean, the D works. Like, D, because people D could-, could what, what else would work? Um, I don't know. I'm like, thinking I know B. B would work. I think B and D seem like the only ones that would really work. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so it's a, it's a bit of a weird question because crowdsourcing is not usually getting people to go to a museum or look at local landmarks. It's usually, let's have a flash dance at Union Station or something, you're try, or you're crowdsourcing with a Kickstarter campaign or something like that. But the idea that a group of people could wanna to go to a museum seems feasible. 
or that a group of people might want to be looking at local landmarks. Okay. Um, next on the hit parade, the algorithm below is used to simulate the results of flipping a coin four times. Consider the goal of determining whether the simulation resulted in an equal number of heads and tails. So here is our recipe, right? Here is our function. Initialize the variables head counter and flip counter to zero. Step two, variable coin flip is randomly assigned a value of either zero or one. If coin flip has value zero, the coin flip is heads. So heads counter is incremented by one. Step three, increment the value of flip counter by one. Step four, repeat steps through and three until flip counter equals four. Following the execution of the algorithm, which of the following expressions indicates that the simulation resulted in an equal number of heads and tails? Is it coin flip equals one, flip counter equals one, flip counter equals two, or heads counter equals two? Heads counter equals two. Brilliant. I agree. If we've got two heads, we got to have two tails, right? There's only two choices. It's either heads or tails. And if I have two heads, that means it has to be everything else. The takeaway from this is in some apps, like the Rock, Paper, Scissors app, you can create your, you know, who wins tree to show only the, the player winning and then anything else is going to be the computer. If it's not the player winning, it has to be the computer. So you can say all other answers are computer other than when the partner wins, you know, when the player wins. Okay. Last one, and I refuse to read these. Three different numbers need to be placed in order from least to greatest. For example, if the number ordered 9, 16, 4, they should be reordered as 4, 9, 16. Which of the following algorithms can be used to place any three numbers in the correct order? One of these is a key that no matter how you put your three numbers, it will straighten them out. Okay. Anyone have a guess here? A, B, C, or D? I hate to read these because- So B would work, I think. B? E. B or D? B as in boy? D as in dog? There, D. Uh, yeah, yeah, D would, yeah, it's D, D. D works. I know D works. Let's go through B and just see. Okay, so I'm gonna pick our numbers as nine, 16, and four. The first number, if the first number is greater than the middle number, swap them. My first number is not greater. Then if the middle number is greater than the last number, swap them. So yes, that works, right? So I had nine, 16, four. Nine is not greater than 16, I left it. 16 is greater than four. Oh, no, it doesn't work because you're gonna have nine, four, 16. Right, that's the problem. With D, if my first number is greater than the middle number, I swap them. So nine and 16, and nine is not greater, so I'm not swapping them. Then if the middle number is greater than the last number, swap them, okay? So now I have nine, four, 16. This last piece is the cinch. Then if the first number is greater than the middle number, swap them. So now four, nine, 16, okay? That's it for that one. All righty, we are getting to it. Uh, we, we have a little quiz at the end of this. You can do it until you get 100. Please take the quiz. It's a checklist to make sure that you've got everything straight in your mind. I'm gonna be making our breakout rooms in between because sadly I don't seem to be able to save them. Okay. 
So what's gonna be due today is your create task quiz. The create performance task with your video program and everything is going to be due on May 14th. That is a week early from when they go to the AP so I can check them. Our goal or objective for today is that you will be able to create a program that fulfills the requirements of the AP create task by following the survival guide. Okay, uh, one thing I did wanna ask or add uh, is this idea. Yes, here. Okay. There has been some confusion, and I have been confused, and I have been relaying things to you with the question of does your code, if you're working with a partner and doing pairs coding, is it both of your code? According to code.org, I mean, not code.org, but the AP. That is acceptable. Apparently this is a change from last year. Ms. Rudnick wasn't aware of when I asked her about this before. So right here on the, you know, the create performance task, second paragraph, it's specific, and this is from the AP from College Board. It says, you can develop code segments used in the written response parts 3B and 3C with your partner or partners, or on your own during the administration of the performance task. The caveat is that you need to be both coding it. One person does not write the code and hand it to the other, and that is their code. You need to be able to code to get a good score on the AP. If you can't code and you get points on the AP and you skip a class, you're gonna be in real trouble because you can't code. Um, the other thing is it's, this document is the ultimate arbiter. This is from the AP, the College Board. Our survival guide is from code.org. Code.org is not grading your AP. So when it says you do not need to comment anything coming out of the app lab or you know, code.org basically, we are worried about that. I have actually asked the college board about this, but have not heard back. It is going to be safer for you to comment and make an attribution for anything you are using that is not something you made. So I'm using a list of basketball teams from code.org. I am using an icon from code.org. I am using a sound from code.org. That is all you need to say in your comments to give a proper attribution, okay? I am just very worried about giving you information that is confusing or that might cause you to lose a point. I want you to lose all the points. I don't want me to lose any of them for you, okay? Here we go. It's unit eight. Uh, performance task day three is tomorrow during fifth period. First period of the day. This is not required, but an available time slot to work with a partner or focus on your program. I will be hosting this. I normally work at Blair on Fridays, but I will host our team and just come to the Wednesday link tomorrow morning. All right. I'm going to put it. Let me see if it's still in my thing. All right, let me quickly stop sharing for a moment. Our Wednesday link, just so you know. Hang on, let me get it first. Okay. So when I'm looking at my module, if I just click on the Zoom, right? Or if I go to the, this is what I get. These are all our meetings, second period, third period, fourth period, and here is Wednesday. That wasn't in here before I finally got it in. 
okay? So this is the Wednesday link. If you just go to home, right? You click Zoom, it's gonna send you to the same place. Ooh, this is not the Zoom that I wanted. Anyway, this is our, these are all our links anyway, okay? I'm gonna make that go to the right place now. All right. Uh, so I will be managing that, particularly if you are working with someone in another class. Ah, um, I like the comments. Come to the fifth period so you can work together, okay? I will be here, I'll set up breakout rooms, et cetera. Um, this is just time so that we can have our full 12 hours in class, all right? Focus for the day, progress checks. Uh, the progress checks are gonna happen in a sequence. Uh, did you decide on the idea for your program, right? Do you, did you brainstorm two ideas? If you did and you have an idea you like, you should be thinking about what your program's gonna do because you need to think that through before you start creating your user interface. What buttons am I gonna need? What text boxes? What text input boxes? What drop down menu? The idea should be fleshed out so that you know the type of data or list you will use in the program, how the data will be traversed, filtered, mapped, or reduced, any conditional statements you will use, your Booleans, your equals, equals, and, and, or, or, what function you will use how the functions can be used more than once to get different answers. The idea that your function is typically gonna have a Boolean expression that is going to be evaluated true and it will do one thing, or it will be evaluated false and it will do another. Is that all clear? Okay, I'm gonna look at our calendar. Uh, so this is our calendar after spring break. The first thing you're going to be working on is day four, uh, then day five, then we're going to go back to algorithms for a week, then we're back to day seven, day eight, day nine, day 10, day 11, day 12. Okay, then we're going to be reviewing for the test. Here are the progress checks. So right when you get back, I'm going to check that you have a topic. You have an idea idea of what your app is going to be about. Next, for the next class, 4-8, I'm gonna check your design screens. Do you have anything in your design yet? Have you put a button on a phone app? Just something to show me that you have started. Coding is about 10 days after that, on the 19th. Again, not that your coding is complete, that it has been started. Uh, your video apparently the next week. Try making a video of whatever you have for your app. It seems very short to be doing that, but. Okay, written responses, uh, five, three. Okay, I want you to have started your written responses. The whole thing needs to be submitted by 514. It's all gonna go to the AP on 520. We're submitting it early so that I can check your work. Okay, we are up to our quiz and then I'm gonna be making your breakout rooms and we'll just go in there. Again, any questions, problems, issues? You don't like this? Nobody? Okay, so the quiz does not have a timer on it or a password. It's just right there at the top of your module. Go to modules, performance task quiz. It will let you retake everything until it's perfect. So please go through it. This is just to make, it's a checklist to make sure that you have thought of everything you need to do. Down here are just the projects, progress checks, the dates, okay? Okay, so while you are making those, I am going to make our breakout rooms because they did not save, which is highly annoying. Come on.
Sorry, almost done. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry it took forever. Um, any questions on the fabulous Create Performance Task quiz? Oh, I know. Uh, some are saying, yep. It's, if you are having issues with the perfect score on your AP, it has two answers, five and the binary answer. The binary five, okay? Uh, all right, uh, one question, I had one person who uh, didn't ask for a partner earlier, but is interested now. Is anyone else looking for a partner? Anybody else looking for a partner? Uh, it's David Adu. Do you mind, David, what would you like to do? Jordan is saying you could join them, but they have two already. Um, no, it's fine, I just worked them. What's that? No, I just stay individual. You're okay? Yeah. Okay, I just wanna make sure that I'm taking care of everybody and getting everybody the help they need. Okay? All right. All right, team. Uh, I'm opening the rooms. Uh, I'll come by and visit and see if anyone has any questions, but just before we go in, what you're doing is if you have, do not have your idea for your app, you're gonna keep brainstorming your app. You can fill that in on page eight of the survival guide. If you know what you're doing for your app, you're gonna start thinking it through to start thinking about building the screens for it, all right? Here we go. All right, we'll be back out at 2.29 to just check if there are any questions. You got a half hour. David, can I help you? Um, no, you're fine. I was just looking at the, I was just looking at the quiz, but I was just joining. No worries. Whatever, whatever you like.
Wow. Guys. Uh. Shoot. Sorry, team. I wasn't quick on the uh, breakout room button. We are done. It is 2.30. If you want to go, you can. Thank you. You bet. Anybody, if you have any questions, you can ask Thank me. You. Otherwise, I'm just waiting for them to get out of the breakout room. Class is over. Um, I just have a question on how to like make your own data table. Just make a table. Um. Like in the data section of code.org? You can't make one in there. Oh, okay. You, you've either got to use their data or you've got to get your data somewhere else. Okay, got it. Or you can just make a list of your own. I mean, you can make a list of colors, you know, black, red, green, yellow, okay. whatever. So you're either using their stuff or you're creating something or you can find it on the web and just attribute it. Okay, thank you. Technically, Winston, hang on, I'm not. Technically, no. As far as I know, there is no requirement where exactly you are doing it, and there is no requirement what language you are doing it in. You could program this in Python. Like like you say, you're just going to be turning it in. You just need a video of your app, a PDF of your code, and the written answers. Does that help, Winston? Florian, Alexander, we're done. If you need to go, class is over. OK, Jordan, anything I can help you with? Oh, no worries. Uh, Jordan, the only silly thing was when I wrote to you yesterday, you didn't get the email I sent from Synergy? Okay, again, I all I can say is the moment I'm sure of something with the internet, it turns out to be wrong. Um, just know I would love to work with you more and get things clicking. I think you're doing okay. Alex, can I help you? You guys are set. Class is over. Great job. Alex, can I help you? 
Okay. I believe it should tell you. I think all it's saying is probably iterates, but I believe it should be the same three things that you would need either need to filter your list, mod, you know, uh, what do they call it? Uh, you need to reduce your list, you know, like what's the biggest dog, what's the smallest dog, or you need to, it's modify your list, but it's not modify. What is the word that they use? It's the idea that you put like num round on your list and you round all the numbers in the list. You do something to everything in the list. That's the third option. Okay, does that all make sense? Don't worry, we'll have time. Uh, just look at that AP for your resources. It's actually better than me. <laughs> okay. Au revoir.